Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. All the world is waiting for you and the power you possess in your satin tights, fighting for your rights. And Metacoms may affect Batman vs Superman Wonder Woman action figure. Let's zoom on into that face sculpt. Uh, paint apps on the face look great. Everything's in the proper place. I think the only thing I don't like is the TR area where the forehead shows. It looks a little funky. But other than that, they did a great job. As for the actual sculpting of the face, uh, does it look like Gal? Uh, maybe. Let's get a picture in here. No, no, it, it, it really doesn't. But I think they did a better job at the side profiles. Let's uh, turn her. I think that looks like her from the side. Maybe just not from the front angle. Side angles look good, front, so-so. As for the hair, uh, I'm really digging the sculpt of the hair. Uh, paint applications look spot on too. Uh, that brown and black looks great. Moving to the shoulder area, uh, I did notice it looked rather funky. You got a funky uh, shoulder joint in there. I thought my figure was actually broken when I opened it for a second. As for the armor, it does look rather nice. Uh, the coloring on it is perfect. Reminds me of kind of like an Iron Man red. And we got fine details like on her straps. Uh, the paint on it looks perfect, at least on my figure. And I have no complaints about it. I mean, look at the other side of the strap. Very fine details. Looks great. Uh, I did come across a little black marking on her arm. A little closer shot. It's not that noticeable, but it still kind of bugs you when you open up a brand new figure. The gauntlets look great. Uh, sculpting on it looks great. Uh, the paint's where it's supposed to be. I have no complaints about it. Let's move a little bit lower to the skirt area. As you can tell, we get some fake leather texturing to the, to the piece. Uh, it looks rather nice and uh, paints where it's supposed to be, so I'm happy. Moving on to the boots. Uh, the sculpting on the front looks pretty good. I like it. Uh, there's some paint spots here and there. Let me get a closer look. You can tell where they kind of messed up. You know, they're making, they're mass producing these things, so it's gonna happen. Uh, those back joints, oh man, those are, those are killing me. They look pretty bad. But other than that, uh, the legs do look good. I mean, the paint's pretty much in the spot where you want it to be. <laughs> you look all right. So it's time to check out that articulation, starting with the head. Uh, obviously, it's hard to swivel the head around. I had to force it with the hair. Um, and the vertical movement of the head is <laughs> horrible did you see that that's all you get <laughs> but she's got a pretty good uh, wingspan going on <laughs> uh, she does go all the way up like so and she will go all the way back down 
She does swivel at the shoulders. They aren't really good joints, they just look horrible. Uh, she has a single jointed, I guess double jointed, it's just a long piece of plastic with two uh, swivels on each end for the arms. And her hands do swivel all the way around and they are removable, like most of these figures are. Fancy. Moving on to the chest area. Uh, let's see how well she swivels. To the left, pretty good, not bad. To the right, just as good, if not better. No, just as good. Um, she doesn't really turn all that much, but she makes up for it uh, on her lower waist, but I'll get to that in a second. Her ab crunch goes back that far and that far forward. And like I said, she does swivel all the way around at the hips. Moving on down to those legs, uh, she does spin at the hip all the way around and she has a nice double jointed knee that's covered with a plate so you don't have to see the junk. Nice. And she does have an ankle pivot. Pivots. Just a wee bit. Moving on to the accessories. We get the generic closed fists. Good for punching shit. And her open hands. Good for lunging or grabbing shit like her lasso of truth. Hey, look at that. We have her lasso of truth right here. This is the wound up version. Looks rather nice. And we get her shield. I don't know the proper name for it, but I know it's a shield. Looks nice. Uh, inside looks nice as well. And we get her sword. Right here. Uh, painted properly. Uh, has like a silver and gold accents throughout. I really like it. Looks pretty cool. Pretty rad. And we get her other lasso of truth. The little bit longer one with the two loops on either end. Uh, I could have done with maybe one that you can unravel, but you get what you get. And lastly, oh holy shit, that's loud. Alright, I calm down. This is a group shot. She comes with a stand on all this stuff. Lovely. I'm so sorry. So should you plop down the 50 plus dollars for this action figure? I don't know, um, it's got some issues like the painting on the head, uh, those horrible horrible leg joints, um, and the shoulder joint that just looks horrible, I thought it was broken when I bought it. Um, I'd say it's a good one. Um, the articulation on it is stellar, you can get her in some nice ass poses, the accessories that you get are pretty cool, like the sword and uh, the lasso of truth. You get two versions of that, like uh, this long version. Uh, but you know, it's it's got its faults. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. I don't know. She should fit in with your collection of action figures quite nicely, around six inches tall. But oh shit, it's Batman. Hey Batman, what's up, man? How's it going? Oh shit. So as you can see, these guys do look pretty cool together, being that they're from the same toy line. But this is a one on one video. That's right. She's hella tough. I mean, if you're still on the fence about this figure, you gotta think what your other option is. It's the Multiverse DC Collectibles figure, and I don't even count that as an action figure. But at least with this figure, you know you're getting a super articulated action figure with some pretty cool extras like her sword and shield. And that lasso with truth. So um, if you got the chance and you really want to take a chance on Wonder Woman, pick her up if you can. Peace.